Hey, welcome back. This is Pryco channel. If you are interested in programming productivity or digital nomad, just click double on the subscribe button, then click on the bell so you can be up to date to everything we upload over here. In today's video, we are going to continue our WordPress plugin development tutorial, and we are going to add a widget to that plugin. It's a pretty useful and common WordPress core tool. Uh, I think it is super useful and necessary that all of you understanding how it works. So that's the reason why I did it. Hope you enjoy it, it's pretty fun. And uh, let's gonna convert this water in code right now. These widgets over the system, remember that I am just trying to follow up my work on this plugin. Remember the plugin that you can you can look it over our GitHub account at Bright Coders on GitHub. It's going to be public. It's not public yet, but it's going to be public on everything that we have been doing over the videos. So for that, uh, I mean, I can just simply include a file over here. Let's see, include leaf widgets.php. But you can just take this code and put it in a functions.php file on your team. And it will work exactly the same. So let's see if I can add it over here. There you go. Okay, so to create the widgets on uh, WordPress, we need to extend the class WP widget. So for that, we can just simply take, I mean, we can look at for widgets, I mean, WordPress, widgets, API codex. And there will be an example here that I already have it open. It's just this, you know. And this is the main class itself that it should be extended. Okay. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to explain you each of the functions and how they work, okay? And we remember need to be sure that we are adding this widget and register this widget uh, after we declare it, okay? So that's it. I'm just going to call this widget precode latest modis. Widget and with this in theory, I'm oh, sorry, bright uh, code widget. I'm going to add this class. This will be the class of itself of the div, you know, and this will be the construct, and the name is going to be description is going to be latest. APO and be movies. And I'm going to then set bright code movies. So let's see what happens with this. And I should go then to appearance, customize. And if it works, it should be here that I can. Let's see if I remove this last widget. And I'm going to be dry. There you go, Precode Movies. And I should be able to publish. Okay, so now it's declared over there. So this constructor function over here is the one that is setting the data for that, okay? This is setting Excel the widget to the system. So with this widget function, we can just simply echo gonna see if it works uh, a YouTube guys there I'm going to explain what is arcs and it stands for for now let's just try to print it let's see if it works localhost uh, which is a space there you go a uh, YouTube guys okay so if I reload this it should be printing there you go okay that's the day uh, that's the day okay so what exactly are the arcs? Okay, the arcs, let's see, we can take a look of this. It will be widget function, that will be widget class. And it's going to tell me that it always has arguments called before title, after title, before widget, after widget. So these are uh, like uh, classes, or you can override them if you want 
for the application. I mean, for the for the data itself. Okay, so it will be for the widget itself. So it will be something like that. You can do something like arcs before widget echo, and they can say <sighs> after widget. So if I put it here, let's see what it does bring this. So let's see. And yes, it is simply adding the container itself to the system. Let's see if I'm right. It's going to add it here. Yep. Let's see. Arcs. Yes, correct. Okay, so we can, for example, then what is the instance? So each of the widgets, when it's saved on the system, it will have some data that we can simply, um, I don't know, overwrite. So I have an example over here. And this will add a in, an input on the system. So we can, for example, set something like, I have an example here. Okay. If it's the title, it's not empty. Instance title, then title is going to be instance that title. I can add as many arcs as I want on instance, okay? So if not, just simply escape HTML. And it will be new title. This is the default value. Title, for example. And the domain, of course, our domain is right code on MDB. There we go. Okay. And we then set the input for this. We can add this like this. So it will be input. It's going to add a type text. And okay, the class is important for GB. White fat. This is to display on the WP admin itself. And we are going to add this. Uh, we are going to add what I have here, like text. Okay, simply add the value here. And the name is going to be title. So name equals title. And the value is going to be PHP echo escape actor, and that will be the value that will be have from the instance. Okay, the title itself here. Okay. There you go. Let's see if it works. And so this value is going to then set the old new instance. So it will be instance. So after we've saved the value over there, we need to just pass it to the system. So instance, it could be an array. And I will say that instance is going to be, so instance title, just for example, title. It's going to be equal to, if not empty, new instance. So it's going to, we are going to set up the difference between the new instance itself, okay? So with the new instance house title, then we are going to sanity text field. 
SPL new instance title. Yes. And if not, just simply return empty. And let's go into return the instance itself. So this instance is the one that's going to be passed over here. So if I pass this, for example, echo instance, let me get rid of the arcs over here, just for the example. So instance title. Let's see what it does show. Let's see here. Okay, it's giving me an error. Uh, so it's, uh, let's see what it is. It's in bad. Let me see what is the error here. Okay, here. If it is not empty, okay. So there you go. Okay, cool. Well, let's see if it does print the widget itself. Let's see what we have here. So widgets, sidebar, title example. Let's see if it's instance title. There you go. <clears throat> uh, let's see if it was not printing here. Let's try it again. Widgets. this and let's see if it works again so publish it's gonna move it if I could move this this is the title example and instance title instance title if it's not empty here. Ah, let's see why it's not working. Okay. The name itself. It should be the name. Class mm. type white fat. There you go. Let's see. Why it's not working? Instance title, new instance, new instance. There you go. Title. Let me dig an example here. It's a better example to why it's not working. Da, da, da. Ah, okay. Sorry. Yes. I see what it is. So it will be PHP echo. Wait. So it will be this get field name title let's see if it works uh, let me if it works I'm going to explain what's the error here uh, let me remove this publish let me reload this page. 
Well, widgets sidebar add right code noise. There you go. Yeah, that's it. So we have the title example over here. If I change it, I can, for example, this is the title. This is the title. Let's see. Yes, this is the title. This is changing. Okay, cool. So I can add, for example, the echo arcs before title. I can add, for example, after title. So we can go here on the options. If I do mine, okay. That it could be, let's see that that would be class white widget. And to do, do before title, yes. Let's place arguments like a before title. One moment, the construct it should be this white options. Uh, widget options. And this should be, yes, the widget option should be a third. WP, yeah, that's it. So, params. Let me look at for a better example for this. Uh, yes. Let's see. Let's see if I can add, for example, let's see if I can do something like this. Echo. H2 uh, Let's see if it works There you go, this is the title itself So we were able to create a constructor Set up the widget and the, and the output that we want for We also are able, we were able to create a form and we are able to update that form that we have on the admin so yeah that's it so we finally added the widget to the plugin uh, as i said you can extend these to many other things you can for example create a, a newsletter box you can create a form you can create an api connection over there whatever you want to do in the widget function which is the main one that renders the widget itself on the front i mean you can just try to go for it, whatever that I upload over here. Remember, all the code is going to be published on github.com slash pricoders. That's our company's uh, main GitHub uh, repository profile. You can also follow me on at Aldinomad on Instagram. And you can, for, I mean, if you have any questions, you can just leave a comment and we'll be super pleased to answer any questions you have. Uh, if you think that this video is useful for anyone, just share it. It really help us just to bring more content like this. And if you really like the video, just click thumbs up and the button and I'll see you in the next one.